Okay, you might get to a situation where your column width of your DB grid is too big and you have to scroll to see the extra fields in your DB grid or your added table. Okay, a way to fix that. Uh, first, going to show you how you can code that. Okay, so I'm going to go to on create. And I'm going to dbg learners. So I'm going to say dbg learners dot columns square brackets okay so if you want to set the first column the width of the first column you will say zero and then you can specify a size let's make it column dot width specify something small 10 because the learner ID is quite small let's copy and paste this okay so DB grid learners columns one that means that it's the second column that column is the name but it's not supposed to be that big so I think we can make it something like 30 yeah, let's just run it quickly to test it. Okay, 10 was too small, 30 is also too small. Let's make the first one about 30, and this one we can make 60. Okay, so you can adjust it according to the width. Another method that you can use, maybe a little bit shorter, you can select your columns editor. If these fields are not there, you can just right click again, select add all fields. I'm not going to do it now because my fields are already there. Okay, then you can select the column that you want to edit. You will see dbg learners dot columns zero, and you can set that width property there. You want to make the name one smaller or bigger. You can just select name in here, and you will see that it now it's now actually columns one, and then you can change the width property there. I think it's too small. Okay, to one hundred. You can actually see the difference. So I think it's a little bit shorter and you don't need to be doing any coding. Let's make this password one. Also just a little bit. You'll see that 1,534 is quite a lot. Let's make it 100. Okay, now you can view all your content on the screen. Then an ID it doesn't fit, so let's just make that one a little bit bigger. There we go. Yeah, then an ID and everything fits on one screen.